hello everyone so today I'm going to import a rifle model a gun model and attach that model to the to our third person shooter character like this and also I'm going to modify the animations to match with this gun holding moment animations so this is our character And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Right, uh, first I'll create a folder to import 3D models. It's models and here I'll create a new folder for the gun. So this is going to be a rifle. And these are my rifles rifle model so I'll drag and drop it like this and this is a skeletal mesh so I'll just import it import it okay so this is the rifle and let's import this rifle uh, animation So it has the animation like this. This is the shooting animation. And also let's go ahead and implement the two textures as well. Right. So let's quickly associate those textures with this material. Okay, this is the normal map and this is the base color and this is mm -hmm. Let's connect it like this and this one like this and this one actually I'm not sure I think this should go to specular And I'll promote this metallic to a parameter. I'll set the default value to something like 0.5. Not sure. Alright, this looks good enough for the moment. And here is our gun. Uh, now the next step is attaching this gun to the character for now this character do not have any gun and also this animation is does not match to hold a gun as well and since this is a third person shooter I don't think there will be any moment that this guy will be on bare hands actually I'm not planning to do the, something like that for the moment so therefore I'll download some animations that with the gun so maybe yeah this one let's download this one I hope this arm space is alright I don't need the skin and also a walk with the gun wait don't we have right here and should be in place also we need a run Yeah, this one in place. Right, so these are the downloaded animations, and if you remember, we need to 
convert them and add a root bone to work with our existing rig so let's do that this is the input folder and this is the converter this is the output folder and under advanced options i don't need to transfer z batch convert okay done and we have the converted animations here i'll post these animations to for download i'll put a link and right so let's import these animations this is uh, no weapon or oh, free hand movement free movement so i'll create a new folder rifle movements and let's import these animations quickly with the soldier skeleton import all what is this i'm not sure actually we don't need them so let's just delete them and right we have these animations so i'll replace what we have in the blend space with those animations so for the idle i'll use rifle idle and for the working i'll use working rifle work and for the running i'll use rifle run so it's like this okay now the next step is attaching the gun to the character model so let's open our character model i'll do it in the parent class not the player class because all the enemy character and the player character both need to have a gun okay so to make things easier i'll pause animations and I can't clearly see this okay now I can now let's add a, a scene component to the mesh I'm gonna attach I'll name this rifle socket rifle hand socket and I'm gonna attach to right hand okay that's it's more like the wrist of the hand maybe I should attach it to right hand mm -mm. what about thumb nope shall we open the skeleton and see yeah a right hand index one seems like a good option so let's attach this to right hand index one. Oh, that's left hand okay now what now I'll attach the rifle this skeletal mesh into the characters this rifle hand socket well this is too big obviously so 
I'll reduce the size scale to well I'll reduce the scale here let's just place this one first and see how much it should be reduced where do we have the import data here in the transform I'll set this to point 0.5 and re-import okay now it's small enough is it too small uh, I guess not right now we can work with this now this is what I'm going to do I'm not I am going to keep the rotation and the location of the rifle compared to this rifle hand socket zero all the time and I am not I am going to make it rotate and fix to align with the hands location and rotation using this hand socket because it, this would be useful for me when I do like weapon switching so when I switch the weapons this way rifle will go to the back of the character and another weapon will be in the hand and when I switch back to the rifle it should be again reattached to the rifle hand socket with 0000, 000, 000. Mm, transformation right let's fix the rotation of this This is too fast camera, so I'll reduce the speed and should be like this. right this is good enough for now okay now I'll unpause the character and let's see how it looks in the game okay what about what if when I move yeah seems all right okay I think I'll stop this episode here and in the next episode let's see how to go to the aim down site and shoot in and everything and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my bedroom club link would be in the description below and also I'll soon upload a source code update to this project and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye